Welcome to UConn Basketball on SNY. It's the Huskies and the Tulane Green Wave here in New Orleans. To go here in New Orleans. Ed Sidlaski, Jeffrey Smith, and Nikisha Thompson are officiating crew. UConn in their home, the road blue, I should say. Tulane in the home white. We're underway here at Devlin Fieldhouse. Last year, she played in 22 games, did not start a game, scored two points a game in eight minutes a game. Answered back by Nafisa Collier. One from Kayla Manuelirungi. Again, Kayla signs off on Manuelirungi being Manu for short, which we sign off on. I think yeah, we're all for that different. down early because they're so difficult to come back against. And also not to turn the ball over. Katie Lou Samuelson reaches in and finishes. Well, power move by Crystal Freeman, a little bit too strong, and now UConn off the miss. Freeman was calling for a foul. Samuelson for three. Molly Bent an early entrance into the game. And Krista Williams is going to go to the bench. Tulane has to know where Samuelson is. Kristen is obviously struggling with what offense they were running. Molly Bent inside for four inside the three-point line, but they're one for five outside the arc. Second chance here, though, Megan Walker. Well, that's something that has really been added to her game and Gino Oriema and from outside the three-point line. Yeah, and the problem is they take the first open shot that they see and then score on the offensive end of the court. Samuelson will try the mid-range, something she's been working a lot on. Walker. Dangerfield. No, Megan Walker. Oh, she's going to pass up the three. Instead, drive it to the basket for two. She's definitely taken her game to another level, and, and the key is for her to do it consistently. Driving and scoring again. Walker again, this time from outside. Lafisa Collier on the offensive glass gets the put back, and now a timeout is called. Anderson gambled, danger field, got tripped up, but somehow got it to Megan Walker. In the opener against Ohio State, her career high is 22. Yeah, just tripped over a defender's foot. She started hot. Danger field, beautiful feed to Collier for two. This team will be even more difficult to beat. Tulane caught napping on the baseline, out of bounds play. Utah gets it right back, though. Bent up to Samuelson. Samuelson count it in the foul. Anderson whistled for the foul. Williams looking for a spot to score. Can't get it. Gets her own miss and a second chance here. Megan Walker, 4-3. Samuelson, Collier, Williams, Walker, Irwin. Utah playing without Crystal Dangerfield as out of the timeout. First career, double-double. Her career high in rebounds, nine. And it's Ole Miss this year. Collier wide open behind that zone. Walker 4 3. Collier to the basket against the freshman. They held two lanes of four points in the first quarter. It was Kristen Williams with a takeaway. Takes it right at Freeman for two. Time for the drive of the game presented by Nissan. It's Kristen Williams. Well, and this, you know, hey, she has this, you, that, that, this is her first bucket of the game, right? Well, she's finding a way, like Gino has often said. Walker to Samuelson. 4 3. And a turnover for Tulane. Dangerfield. Walker, three on the way. And Lou Samuelson anticipates and gets the steal, and Samuelson will go all the way in for two more. Booms to Walker. Three more. You bet. This pass from Coombs. Walker wide open in that corner, too. <laughs> There's the smile. <laughs> Coombs has the rebound. It's too bad. Nice anticipation to steal that ball. Williams, Kamara with the putback. In the end, it's a 42-point win for UConn. 75-33, the final.